We already talked about how you can read a pie graph, but how can you construct one, whether it's with your hands or on a PowerPoint presentation? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Panina, we're going to talk about how to construct a pie graph. We talked about it before how to read it. But the point of this request of video is because I didn't yet show how to do it, especially in the PowerPoint. So if you want to learn that, how to read a pie graph, I'll link it in the series on graphs. We'll cover the line graphs, bar graphs, and every other type of graph. So you can check that out. But before we discuss the pag we're talking about, just a quick little plug if you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines. One way to do that is through buying our merch, like this hoodie right here, the Trying Hard hoodie. So if you want to help us, you can go and check it out at shop.teamlaika.com. That's where we put up yung mga Team Laika products, the things that I designed for this team. Hoodies, shirts, caps, mugs, and other things na pwedeng uh, enjoy ninyo as a gift to you or your friends. Alright? So sa mga bumili na, maraming salamat. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. Thank you for helping us help more people through this channel. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my presentation. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so dito sa lecture na ito, mag-aaral tayo kung paano mag-build ng pie chart. Dito muna tayo sa definition ng pie chart. Pie charts or a pie chart is a circular illustration showing slices corresponding to the size of that data relative to the whole group. Na ano lang ibig sabihin nun? If you have a pie chart like this one, nakahati siya dun sa iba-ibang parts or slices na may ibig sabihin. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung ACES, for example, it says here 16% siya of the entire na population na na-survey or dami ng respondents dun sa uh, survey na ito or dun sa data na ito, sa group na ito. Ibig sabihin, kung 100% lahat, as in lahat ng mga sumagot sa survey na yan, lahat yan ay 100%, 16% out of that 100%, ang gusto nilang team ay ang ACES. Okay? Ganon din for each of them. So, ang warriors, 23% out of 100, and so on and so forth. So, again, if you haven't seen yung first video natin dito, ililink ko na lang din. Mas maganda yung uh, quizzes doon and everything else when it comes to understanding and data. Ngayon, ang challenge natin is unique kasi this time we're going to try to draw it. If you have data like this, sabi dito, turn this into a pie chart, what can you do? The first thing you have to do is to find out kung ano yung percentage ng bawat group kumpara doon sa kabuuan or sa total. Okay? Now, how do we do it? How do we turn that into a percentage? Gito lang gagawin natin. Kung ilan yung mga sumagot noon, for example, sa red, you have 30, i-divide ko siya by yung total. Now, ang total natin here is 150. So, ang gagawin natin, 30 divided by 150, okay, times 100. Okay? Yun yung formula. Now, kung uh, medyo okay naman kayo sa percentages ninyo, you would find certain uh, relationships pagdating sa, sa percentage. Alam natin na ang 10% ng 150 is 150. Igagalaw na natin yung decimal place some beses. So, 10% is 15. At kung 10% ang 15, dahil ang 30 ay times 2 ng 15, ibig sabihin nun, ang red, ang percentage niya ay 20%. Na kung naguluhan kayo doon, pwede nyong ilong cut. As in 30 divided by 150 times 100. Pero ang magiging sagot lang din nun is 20%. Okay? Na kung medyo naguluhan kayo doon sa percentage technique na inexplain ko kanina, meron ta din tayong video nun. Ililink ko na lang din sa taas. So you can watch how I solve percentages using estimation. Okay? Now yung 75%, if you notice, is kalahate. Again, pwede mo siyang gawing 75 divided by 150 times 100, or dahil ang 75 ay kalahati ng 150, alam ko agad na siya ay 50%. Now, yung green ay 30 din, so pareho lang sila nung red, 20% din ito. At yung purple naman natin, which is 15, okay, ay 10%. Now, isa sa mga kailangan yung tandaan is to check 
kung 100% pa yung total nito, okay? So, now you have 50 plus 20, 70 plus 20, 90 plus 10, that is 100%. At dahil 100% na ito, ibig sabihin kompleto na tayo dyan, all we need to do is to draw the pie chart. Okay, now how do we do that? Okay, when it comes to drawing the pie chart, and again, ito lang yung data natin kanina, kapag wala tayong protractor or hindi natin gagamitin ng um, software, mano-mano natin siya i-drawing. It's all about getting your proportions as accurate as possible. Okay? And I will show you how to do that. Mamaya naman, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung gagawin ninyo kung kailangan nyo itong gawing PowerPoint or ilagay sa isang Word document. Okay? But kung mano-mano siya, we're going to start with a circle. Now, let's just draw a big circle para mas kita natin. Okay? So, I'll just have a circle right there. Yan. Tapos, itong circle natin na ito, ang gagawin natin is we're going to start dividing it into pieces. Now, dahil yung red natin ay uh, 20%, yung blue 50%, green 20%, at purple 10%, we can start with the biggest piece kasi yun yung pinakamadali, yung 50%. Now, kung hahati natin sa, sa 50% ito, all we have to do is to draw a line. Okay? So, magdodraw tayo ng line sa gitna. Ayan. Okay? And, ibig sabihin nun, itong line na ito, nahati niya into two parts yung buong circle. This part right here becomes yung blue, which is 50%. So, pwede natin i-label blue 50%. Now, of course, kung meron kang tool to paint this, you can uh, color this blue, the entire thing, or you can fill it with colors. Now, ang ibig sabihin din nun, dito na sa left side natin ilalagay yung tatlong iba pang mga colors. Now, a good rule of thumb would be to think na ang kalahati ng kalahati is 25%. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung hahatiin ko ito here, Okay? That would mean na 25% yan each. However, di ba, hindi naman 25 yung ating uh, percentage dyan. Ang nakalagay dyan is 20%. So, kung gusto ko na medyo mas accurate ng kaunti, I would know that kung hahatiin ko to sa 5 pieces or sa 5 slices, yun yung magiging tig for 5%. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Medyo maluwang. Okay? So, Tatansyain natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan, medyo mas okay na yan. So, ibig sabihin nun, kapag ginuhitan ko ito, yung apat na pieces right here, that is what's going to give us yung ating 20%. Yan. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung buburahin ko na itong ibang mga parts, yan, buburahin ko lang itong line na ito, kasi parang grid line lang natin yan, this part right here could be yung red natin. Okay, red, which is 20%. Now, we're going to do the same thing, or itatapat na lang natin siya dito sa ilalim. At medyo magka-size sila, relatively. Ayan. Ito naman yung magiging green. Ayan, green natin, which is also 20%. Tapos, of course, yung tig 5 na ito, yun yung magiging purple. Ayan, buburain ko lang tong line na ito. Ayan. Ito ngayon yung purple, which is 10%. Okay? Now, of course, we can go over it again with lines para lang mas madinis ng kaunti or may reconnect natin sila uli. So, hindi siya sobrang malinis. Okay? Of course, you can use a different software for this. Right now, I'm just using aking note-taking app. Pero ganun yung idea. Again, if you know yung uh, proportion natin ng circle, pagkalahati, 50% yun. So, kung, again, maging 48, babawasan lang natin ng konti dito. Yan, you can do those things. Halo ng estimation, i-eyeball din natin, tatansyahin natin, para kahit pa paano mabuo natin yung ating pie chart. Again, ganito, kapag kailangan yung sagutan sa modules at hindi natin magagamitin ng protractor. Kung meron kayong protractor, mas maganda, all you have to remember is that ang circle ay may 360 degrees. So, ano yung sabihin nun? Kung kailangan kong kumuha ng 50%, ibig sabihin buong protractor siya, kasi tig 180 yung isang protractor, ba? So, just in case ninyo natatandaan yung protractor, yung parang ruler siya, pero ganito yung shape, right? So, 180 degrees yon. So, that would be the straight line right here. Tapos, yung mga degrees na ito, ikakalculate lang natin based dun sa 180 degrees ang isang protractor.
Now, ibig sabihin nun, kung kailangan natin hanapin yung 20%, which is yung red, kukunin natin yung 20% ng 360, that would be 72 degrees, okay? Tapos itatapat natin yung ating protractor, titignan natin yung 72 degrees, yun yung susukatin natin, yun yung magiging 20%. 10%, that would be 36 degrees, okay? Tapos ito rin, magiging 72 degrees din siya. Okay? And together, all of those, if you notice, mabubuo niya yung 180 degrees dito sa left side na ito. So, ganun. It requires a little bit of extra math kapag gusto natin maging super accurate using the protractor. Now, kung gagawa naman tayo ng pie chart using yung Microsoft Word, uh, one of the things that you could do would be just to use yung feature uh, pagdating dun sa, sa graphs. Okay? So, we can tap insert dito sa taas. Tapos, maglalagay na kayo ng chart. Okay? So, tatap natin yung chart. Pie. Tapos, ito yung simple pie natin. Yan, itatap lang natin yan. Now, magpa-pop up yan sa isang Excel na spreadsheet with yung mga numbers na nasa loob ng isang table. Now, all we have to do is to label them. Now, hindi naman sales ito. Ang information natin is about colors. Okay? So, you can just type colors. Yun yung title ng ating pie. Tapos, ilalagay natin yung colors na meron tayo. You have red, okay, blue, green, and purple. Tapos, ilalagay lang natin yung percentage ng bawat isa sa kanila. Okay? So, sa case natin, pwede natin ilagay dito yung red na 20, yung blue na 50, green na 20, at saka yung purple na 10. Now, actually, kapag dating dito, pwede nyo na rin ilagay lang yung mga number ng respondents and it will look the same. Pero just for our purpose right now, nilagay ko na lang yung nakakonvert na. Okay? Tapos, kung ano yung ginawa natin dyan, okay? kung gusto natin ipakita yun doon sa loob ng chart, sisiguraduhin lang natin nandito siya sa loob ng frame na ito. Kung may dagdag na color, for example, meron kang black, di ba? Tapos meron siyang kwe, 5 or something like that, i-extend lang natin tong pinaka-table na ito. Pero dahil wala namang ganun, apat lang talaga siya, iuurong lang natin pabalik. Okay? Na pagbalik natin sa PowerPoint, nakaganito na siya. So, yan. Ganito ang itsura ng ating table. Pwede mo na rin ibahin yung kanyang format. Titinan lang natin dito sa taas. Yan. Pwede nang inagay yung quick layout para nakalagay na yung pangalan tsaka yung percentage sa loob. Ayan. Pwede ganyan. And then, of course, you can individually change na lang kung ano yung mga color na ito. For example, itong part ng blue, gusto ko siyang gawing blue talaga. Pwede ko yung i-change using yung format. Okay? Tapos, shape fill lang tayo. Ayan. If i-fill ko lang siya ng blue talaga. Yung red, if i-fill ko rin siya ng red. Ayan. Yung purple, if i-fill ko siya ng purple. Pwede nyo itong gawin manually or meron ding settings dun sa loob ng chart. Yung green gagawin kong green. And of course, I can do rin na yung text sa kanilang lahat. Gawin natin puti para mas makita sila. Pwede rin nating lakihan yung text. Okay, yan. Para mas makita. And keeping in mind na kailangan kumasya siya para mas makita siya doon. Yan. So, now we have that. Pwede ka rin maglagay ng mga, uh, mga format ng title, ng uh, kung anong information yung gusto natin ilagay. Pwede na may legend, tapos percentage na lang. Again, iniiba lang natin yung mga colors na yan. Or iniiba lang natin yung itsura niya, but it's generally the same. So, again, ganyan siya gawin kapag nasa Word document na. Okay? So, you just need to be um, really creative then when it comes to presentation ng data. At kung kayo ay teacher watching this and you want me to explore other options uh, pagdating sa pagpapresent ng data, kung gusto nyo gawin natin to for the other types of charts and graphs, let me know in the comment section na lang. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and not mag-exam din sila. Dato yung masalami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamliga for more information. And if you want to um, also reach out to me uh, for topics that you want me to cover soon, don't forget to write it in the comment section sa baba. Okay? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. I would hate for you to miss those. And as you always see, this channel na ito, never stop learning. Aja aja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now. All right, thank you for staying until the end of the video. Uh, again, thank you for watching. If you want another video lesson, you can click uh, right here. And if you want to get to know me better on a more personal level, my second channel, my vlogging channel, is right here. Subscribe na lang dyan, and I'll see you soon.